epic. Did you want to see the end of those bursts? Well, fuck you. The concept of an ultimate ability is not new. Whether it be a transformation or a burst in damage, a powerful ability that takes a lot of time to charge exists in many games. Usually this is balanced by having a cooldown or some meter that you have to refill after using it. But what happens when that ability becomes too common? What happens when an entire character's kit revolves around it? Well usually, that's bad. Emotional desensitization. It's a psychological process that makes your emotional response to something diminish the more you're exposed to it. For example, the more times you lose the 50-50, the less you react to each 50-50 loss. That's why it's important to space out ultimate abilities, not only for balance, but also to keep you playing. So on paper, Genshin sounds like it would fall victim to this. Getting energy isn't hard, and it doesn't take that much time either. But Genshin's elemental bursts aren't the highest piece of combat. You don't do fancy things in Genshin like you do in other games like Spider-Man or Breath of the Wild. The highest peaks in Genshin is its optimization. Oh! There are two parts about optimization, stats and performance. Since you can't visually see a change in your characters when you upgrade artifacts, talents, or weapons, okay, this doesn't count. The vast majority of players do things to make that damage number go up. Stats-wise, this is easy. Higher levels and rarity are better. Most of the time. Performance-wise, this is where it starts to get difficult. In Genshin, you need to pick up particles created by your skill or emitted by an enemy to fill up your elemental burst. When it's full, you can use your burst, which will completely drain it. Some particles that you pick up will be more effective at refilling your burst, but the main way you can refill your burst faster is by putting energy recharge on them. Energy recharge is either the most useful stat or the least useful stat. Obviously some characters like Beidou desperately need the energy recharge, while other characters like Yuimiya don't. But at a certain point for every character, energy recharge becomes completely useless. Think about it this way. After you get your burst, what does energy recharge do? Your life is nothing! You serve zero purpose! Since everybody is in a different place with their constellations, weapons, artifact sets, that type of stuff, only you really know what you have and need. For example, a full elemental mastery build Kazuha is extremely powerful, unless your main DPS is Xiao. Therefore, when you're in combat, you need to make optimizations that fit your own account. And it's here that the structure of Genshin's elemental bursts shine. Energy recharge results in more consistent damage, but if you stack too much, you're losing actual damage modifiers like crit or attack. Essentially, you want damage while fulfilling the minimal requirement for energy recharge. This doesn't just depend on stats, it revolves around actual gameplay as well. Due to unfortunate circumstances, my voice for the rest of the video is dog water. My apologies. Rotations. You've probably heard of that term. It's the repeating cycle of abilities that you use that gives you the most damage modifying rotations to your specific needs, picking up particles with the right characters, are all part of the adaptations that you have to make in combat. This game isn't mechanically hard, there's auto-target and abilities are simplified down to the press of a button. The primary difference between players outside of luck is strategy and adaptation, putting the focus away from just using a powerful ability. But that isn't to say elemental bursts don't feel powerful. Some definitely feel more powerful than others, like Ku Tao's and Ayato's bursts, for example. They're both good, but they have very different feelings to them. As I'm sure you know, 5 stars have a small burst cutscene that plays while 4 stars do not. The camera, however, does similar things with both of them. This yeah! is called a whip zoom. The camera zooms in to emphasize your character, which gives the impression of power by putting focus on you. The sudden movement happens more on characters that hit hard, while slow movements are used for characters that have long-lasting bursts, giving you a visual indication of burst damage versus sustained damage. Ideally, these are the feelings that you get when using these bursts, but obviously animations aren't perfect, unless your name is Wanderer. Altogether, the optimizations with the visual indicators results in a very smooth process. Usually, you want to use bursts that are long-lasting, with the last burst being a strong strike if you have one. With your entire rotation building up to a few seconds of peak damage, 
Getting the order right, min-maxing your auto attacks, weaving in normal attacks, animation cancelling, they all produce a strategically satisfying feeling without losing the basic burst to look strong feeling. Because if people just want to use bursts that look pretty and felt strong, then people would be playing Dia. But they're not. Because she's bad. I still kind of want her though.